Crab Nation, how's it going? How you feeling out there? So, um, another Republican was re exposed. I want to say I take my hat off to Mr. Um, Gibson, the guy, the eighteen-year-old black guy who exposed this um, this lawmaker, this state rep, the guy who makes laws, you know, who vote against gay marriage, and shit like that, you know, was exposed because he was trying to pay this young man a hundred and forty dollars for some sexual good time or whatnot. And um, somehow things didn't go according to plan. And once things um, went left field versus right field, um, the state rep tried to bribe the young man's family with $100, an iPad, and a BlackBerry phone. That didn't work. Then once the um, rep's wife found out, she didn't want it to go public. So she tried to bribe with $10,000, and they turned it down and exposed this bastard. I think it's good that they did that. I think we need to do shit like that. Money is not everything. You know what I mean? Come on now. Expose these bastards, because these are the ones who make our laws. These are the ones who talk bad about poor and middle class people. You know, but at the same time, you want to put a middle class or a poor dick in your mouth, you know, for a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, how you going to sit there and try to make our life harder, but at the same time ready to swallow some balls. Come on now, expose these bitches. That's how I feel about it. You know, like if they're crooked people, expose them. It's just like exposing the police. This is like exposing anybody that need to be exposed. So I'll take my hat off to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little pissed off about that because to get away with so much, man, money is power. When you got money, you can get away with a lot of things, you know, and this is a person that didn't let an iPad, and a Blackberry cell phone, $10,000, you know, take away this whole incident. You didn't let all this white things away. You was like, fuck that. I'm going public with this. You know, and I think that was a good thing right here because you helped out a lot. This is somebody who could probably possibly resign, get kicked out, or whatever the case may be because we don't need fuckers like that around here representing. You know, it didn't happen in Minnesota. It happened in Indianapolis. But still, you don't need people like that in the office. You don't need them up there making decisions for people because at the end of the day, they ain't doing shit but being hypocrites. You know, sit up in these meetings and talk bad about people. But at the same time, soon as you get a chance to put some salty balls in your mouth, you're going for it. You know, and you're the ones who act like you hate gay people. Gay people should not be alive. That means you hate yourself. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.